What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are discussing all the ways you can use a tractor rake or a dethatcher in this case, one of the most versatile tractor attachments on the market today. And one of you guys are gonna win one of these dethatchers. We're giving one away. Stick around until later, we'll tell you how to enter. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you're feeling kind of tippy, side to side, get a set of Boro Wheel Spacers. They're made in America and a lifetime warranty. Hey, and if you enjoyed this video, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that like button, subscribe to see more tractor videos. And if you want something for your machine, if you're not lucky enough to win this to Thatcher, you can buy one at goodworkstractors.com. We sell all sorts of tractor attachments for the three point hitch and the front end loader. Okay, so this is gonna differ from a landscape rake or even a pine straw rake. So this is an actual de-thatcher. It's very lightweight. It only weighs about 48 pounds. So you can pick it up with both hands, move it around very easily. That's gonna be very advantageous when you wanna use it on your lawn for a variety of applications that we're gonna get into shortly. So the difference with the de-thatcher is it will have a lot of those same benefits as the landscape rake and the pine straw rake, but it's not going to be hard on your lawn. So you're gonna feel like you're not going one step forward, two steps backward when you're trying to do some lawn maintenance. So if you have a very specific purpose that maybe requires some Something heavier duty like a landscape rake, you may want to look into that. But if you're looking for a more multi-purpose, versatile piece of equipment, a dethatcher could be the solution. Let's tell you all about it right now. I'm going to blow some people's minds. Let's get into the first use for this dethatcher, dethatching. And I think when CMP came out with their design, that was the main, the primary purpose for the tool. And then all of these other complementary or versatile uses came about as customers used it for different applications and and that's when it really became more well known as a multi-purpose piece of equipment so these are spring tooth tines that are on here and that is kind of the design so they're metal they're skinny they give so you can pull this along or you can push it so you can go both directions and i found that works really well when i'm detaching my lawn is you go one way and then you just back up right along the same path now I've also done a checkerboard and I've kind of just drove forward, you know, multiple ways as well. But for me, I kind of like that because I feel like it works the grass both directions if you want to do a little bit more of a heavy to thatch. There's a lot of ways to do it. And so what I do, I simply drop down the three point as far as it goes. Again, there's no down pressure on a three point hitch. So as you're driving along, these are going to kind of give and bend a little bit as they go along. And that's why it could take multiple passes for you to get a heavy de thatch done because it's it's lightweight by design. I wanna make sure I hammer that home. It's not going to come out here and just completely ruin your lawn. So you as the operator can control how heavy of a dethatching that you do by the amount of passes that you take. The other great benefit that goes along with dethatching, especially if you're gonna do a pretty heavy dethatch, is this time of year, once we get into fall or in September, you want to overseed at that point in time. And so if you do a good heavy to thatch, you're going to open up a lot of bare surface on the ground, get the thatch out of the way so that you can have good seed to soil germination, whether that's ryegrass, could be Kentucky blue, tall fescue, it doesn't matter. This is the best time of year to dethatch. The next four weeks or so, right in that general time frame, is a great time to overseed, especially if you're up north here, like in Michigan. So using that one tool will not only dethatch the lawn, it's going to also give you some overseed preparation. So I don't have to deal with this one much myself, at least just yet. You know, we have 140 acres and there's a lot of, of uh, pine trees out there and spruce trees. So we may have more of a use for a pine straw type of rake in the future. I know a lot of you guys, especially down south, have a big need for it. We do have a few pines over at the shop uh, on the neighboring building that's over there. And I had a chance just to play around with it, see how it worked. It worked incredibly well to pick up the pine needles. You know, it takes a couple passes, you go over it, and then you go right back the other way, and it got like 99.9% .9 of the needles. It was, it was really cool to watch, really cool to use. I like watching it every time I see it on video. So if you're looking for that kind of an application, this can work really well for you. I'm gonna tie in this next application all together because you can use this in the spring, the summer, and the fall for all sorts of cleanup, whether that's storm cleanup or it could be spring or fall cleanup with the leaves and the sticks, everything that falls down over the winter time. We have a storm actually blowing in right now. You can see the trees really blowing around and leaves starting to fall down, but they rescheduled my son's soccer game from tonight to tomorrow because that's how severe it's supposed to be. So I may have an application to use this again myself here pretty soon, and if so, we'll get some video for you guys. So I like to try out a lot of different tools, and I did use my Protero bagger a lot last fall for leaf cleanup while I was mowing. However, I had a couple different chances to use just the thatcher when we had a lot of heavy leaf drop. And I'm not going to say it got every single leaf, but it made a huge difference and it got 
90% or more of the leaves out of the way. Again, just kind of going forward on a pass and then backing up on a pass and then you can make a whole row and then take that whole row and I just pushed them right back to a burn pile back here. It worked really well, it was easy to do and for a cheap attachment like this, it sure beats doing it by hand. Now another use is gonna be if you wanna do a lawn renovation or maybe you have a brand new yard to put in that's just all bare dirt right now. In fact, Chris got to use it the last weekend over on the other side of the state. They were doing a, a city lot renovation over there. We're gonna have some good video on that, on how a 1025R can be very valuable in small spaces. But they first tilled up the ground, it was existing sod that they had over there, and then they used the landscape rake to kind of break up those clumps, get the big clumps of like kind of trash out of the way so that they could have a more consistent and smooth and level seed bed to put down new grass. So something that I wish I would've used this for recently out at our property when I did some uh, tilling of our trails, uh, only a portion of the trails. We're putting in new trails all through the woods and I think this tool probably would have worked a lot better than the landscape rake for that application. I just needed something light and I think in fact in the future, I'm probably not gonna till at all. I'm just gonna leave well enough alone and when there's leaves and other debris, whatever it is, too much built up at a time, I'm gonna take the detacher. It's 60 inches wide so it's, you know, it hangs out about six inches on either side of a 1025R. But just go up and down those trails a couple of times, just one way down and one way back. Call it good this is great for that kind of application we don't want to really rough up the ground too much you just kind of want to clean it off so that's a nice easy trail to walk on and for example this tractor is running a 60 inch wide mower deck so the 60 inch wide to thatcher isn't going to extend any further than that it's really a piece of cake Okay, so these last few, I haven't actually used them for myself or really even seen it done, but I've heard about it from customers and that's gonna be beach combing, you know? So this is actually a pretty good use for that. Kind of just raking your beach, getting any of the stuff that's collected, come out of the lake uh, over time with that, or just kind of resurfacing it and finishing it off if it hasn't been maintained in a while. And another one could be on ball diamonds or even a driveway, a gravel driveway, doing some light resurfacing. This isn't gonna be taking, you know, huge deep, cuts out of the dirt or the gravel, but just doing light resurfacing of those kinds of surfaces where if you don't let it get too far out of control, you can use a tool like this to maintain it. Okay, so that's about every use I can think of, which is quite a few for one piece of equipment, but if you have another application that this could be used, I'd love to know, so leave a comment down below. So speaking of making a comment, that's a pretty good segue because that is exactly how you can win your own Thatcher. We're running a contest, we're gonna give one of them away. The only thing you have to do is leave a comment down below. It's gotta be on the YouTube video, not Facebook or anywhere else. You do have to live in the continental United States. And what else? Oh yeah, and you have to leave your comment by 12 noon Eastern time on Sunday, September 12th. So that's the cutoff time. At that point, we're gonna use the same random YouTube comment generator picker thing. The same thing to select one random comment that's left to be the winner. Watch for the reply. We are gonna to reply to your comment. We're not gonna to reply to anybody else's comment in the video, just that one. So look for that and then reach out to us directly. We'll get you all set up with the Thatcher. So a few final notes about the Thatcher. This is category one, quick hitch compatible as well. So you can hook it right up to your three point hitch like we have, or you can put it on the quick hitch. We used ours with the Spico quick hitch last year. Worked really well either way. I found 60 inch to be the right size. It's the only size I carry. It's just slightly wider than the tractor, but it doesn't stick way out, you know? So it's not gonna hit a tree or a fence as you're going by. It's nice and compact. Again, it's very lightweight. It's not gonna stress a tractor if you have a little Kubota BX1880 or a 1023E. And it's great for the two series tractors, your Kubota LX or the B series two, all your small compacts. I like the trifecta, right? I've talked about it before. You gotta have that combination of price, quality and features and that's where this fits in right here as always if you enjoyed the video i'd love to get a thumbs up from you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more tractor videos and if you want something for your machine check out goodworkstractors.com hey thanks again for stopping by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon